Welcome family and friends. We're gathered here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Logan Harasta and Leandra Drew. The sun rises behind her eye, but she still can't see it. So when I sat down to write the speech, I did not know where to start. So I did what everybody does in 2023. I asked ChatGPT. <laughs> And I do have an output here of what they say a best man's speech should be. And that output says that Logan's idea of a romantic gesture is to share the last slice of pizza. I disagree. It would have to be the second pizza. The most accurate part of the output, there was no jokes or slander made at the expense of the bride. That's why AI is gonna take over the world. So back when I was first getting to know Leandra, I learned very quickly, as I think everybody in this room has learned, she knows more about sports than anybody I've ever met, and I think anybody who is paid on TV to talk about sports. She, she might be the biggest Patriots fan I, ever. She's incredibly close with her family, especially her two older brothers. And now I'm quoting her here. She's not a cleat chaser, but she loves herself a baseball boy. Mostly, Logan's one of those people in my life that's just a cornerstone. He talks to me when he's having bad days and I do the same. Both of us are always down to hop on a FaceTime to do a really quick rally chop for the Sox or the Pats. So when thinking about who could be your perfect match, they obviously had to know a lot about sports just to keep up with her. At least tolerate the Patriots. I know we got a lot over here, but you know, that's not an easy thing to do in upstate New York. Fit in with her family and you know, cherry on top if they're a baseball player, fantastic. Well, it's like the stars aligned once Logan slid into Leandra's DMs asking her to go to a party and then they eventually got together and became a couple. We've had the pleasure of knowing the bride for a long time. Um, you could say we weren't very thrilled the first time Leandra came home. Um, you know, our parents brought home this whining, annoying little thing and immediately started stealing all the attention from us. Good thing we adjusted quickly because it's been a long 27 years. I don't do that game. I don't do that game. Their relationship has tested distance, multiple moves, and most of all, COVID. Any relationship that survives being locked down with one person for eight months, or if you lived in California three years, can withstand just about anything. As I've gotten to know Leandra more and more over the years, it's become very glaringly obvious that they are a perfect match for each other. You look great. So do you. Thank you. Right, Leandra, for my vows, I'm going to sing your song that I wrote for you. Gotcha. <laughs> from the very beginning, the first day I met you, I know this day would come. Simply put, you are and will always be the one. I know some say that it took forever, but from the beginning, I knew this was our destiny. Logan, since the day I found out that you were a Patriots fan, I knew we were gonna last forever. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to go to sleep after you every night and wake up after you every morning. I promise to always correct your spelling, your grammar, and proofread all your emails and text messages. <laughs> There will never come a time that I stop fighting for us, no matter what comes our way. I promise that you will never face it alone. We are teammates for life, and it doesn't work unless we are working together. Leandra, you grow flowers in the darkest parts of me. Your love gives me hope. Your smile gives me joy. You make me a better man. I'm immensely proud of all your accomplishments every day. You bring me sunshine on the cloudiest of days. I've loved you for eight years, and I promise that I'm gonna love you forever. 
Now please never make me express my emotions in front of people again. Logan, take the string. Put it on Leandra's hand and repeat after me. This ring symbolizes my love. This ring symbolizes my love. <laughs> my loyalty and my commitment to our lifelong journey. My loyalty and commitment to our lifelong journey. Including the Jew family fantasy football league. <laughs> Including the Jew family football league. <laughs> I place it on your finger as a binding promise. I place it on your finger as a binding promise. That I will be by your side today, tomorrow, and forever. That I will be by your side today, tomorrow, and forever. All I want to do is grow old with you. A wise man once told me, to infinity and beyond. <laughs> and that's what we started here tonight. I am the luckiest man alive. You are the joy of my life. I love you, Amanda. I guess there's only one thing left to do. By the power vested in us, by the state of New York, and the five minute ordination we filled out online, we now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride, but keep it classy, buddy.